Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna get all up close and personal because I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my different streams of income that will hopefully explain to you how I afford to live in New York City. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video. So the very first stream of income that I have, which is also the largest stream of income, is my full-time job. So unlike a lot of entrepreneurs or personal finance gurus here on YouTube, I really don't hate the idea of having a nine-to-five job. As some of you may know, I work as a corporate recruiter at a very large tech company. And unlike what many people may think, nine to five jobs can be really flexible. So I am pretty much permanently remote. I still go into the office once in a while if I want to, but I really don't have to. And I have flexible hours, which is amazing because it allows me to focus on some of my other side hustles and passion projects. So just because somebody works a full-time corporate job doesn't mean that the entire freedom just goes away and you kind of constantly work for someone else it's really not true so yeah a nine to five job can be a great way to build wealth and to have that financial security which is why I still have a full-time job and I'm planning on holding on to it for a while number two is my coaching business so my coaching business is now officially my largest and highest paying side hustle out of all the side hustles that I have I launched my career coaching business a little over a year ago so pretty much what I do is I help people with career related topics such as resume reviews, portfolio reviews, interview coaching. I have both long-term and short-term clients depending on their needs. And I actually filmed an entire video describing my entire journey, like how I launched my business, how much it costed me to launch my business, all those steps. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check out this video up here or here. I can never remember <laughs> which corner. This is also a very quick reminder that if you are enjoying this video so far, please make sure to hit that like button button because it really helps small YouTubers like myself grow here on this platform. Or in general, if you love videos about passive income, side hustles, and productivity, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I am going to be releasing more videos. So next on my list is my consulting gigs. So once in a while, I do consulting gigs for career boot camps, um, universities, or any like educational organizations. So pretty much I do the exact same thing as I would probably do in my coaching business. So, you know, any career related services. The only difference is that those people are not my own clients, uh, which also means that I get paid a little bit less. But the nice thing is that I don't have to worry about things like client follow-ups, billing, you know, invoices, all those things. So that definitely takes a lot of the busy work out of the way. So yeah, consulting is definitely one of my favorite side hustles and it's just a very simple way for me to, you know, make extra cash when I'm trying to fund my business. Then the next thing on my list is YouTube. And I'm honestly just so excited to even be mentioning YouTube in this video just because, you know, it's always been my dream to be making money on YouTube and just get paid as a content creator because YouTube does take a lot of time and effort. So I recently made several videos describing, you know, how I got monetized, kind of YouTube monetization one-on-one. -on -one. But to be concise, I started making money through YouTube AdSense earlier this year. And it's definitely not like a lot of money just yet, but it's definitely more than I thought I would be making every month so that's been really exciting and also my adsense revenue has been growing consistently every month which is honestly all that matters to me right now so yeah making money on youtube has been super exciting definitely been like the biggest highlight of my year Okay, so next thing on my list is my course sale revenue. So about a year ago, I launched my very first online course. I've been selling it on Udemy, Skillshare, and Skill Success. And selling my own online course has been, you know, a great way to make passive income. Again, not a ton of money yet, but it is paying some of my bills. So that's been super exciting as well. And again, I filmed multiple videos about this if you wanna check out some of my previous videos. But yeah, if you want to start making passive income, selling your online course could be a great way to make that extra passive income because even though I put a lot of effort into first making it a year ago, I really haven't done much work ever since then. It's just been making, you know, passive income every single month. And that's the great thing about passive income. Take a shot every time I say passive income in this video. So next thing on my list is also one of my sources of passive income, and that is selling digital products that are not online courses. Anyways, so I've been selling resume templates both on Etsy and my website. And again, same thing, I just put some time into creating uh, my products and launching my stores, but so far people just been like casually 
repurchasing my products and I've been making, you know, extra money every single month, which again is great. And I'll include the links to my Etsy store and my website down below if you want to check them out to get some ideas. So my next stream of income is speaking engagements. So I briefly spoke about this one in my how to make money on LinkedIn video, but pretty much the way it works is that uh, once in a while I get invited to speak at different events. Usually I work with, you know, different boot camps, like educational boot camps, universities. I get invited as a speaker on podcasts before, um, so things like that. And I know a lot of times those organizations want me to come and speak at those events because of my career coaching background. But I also know that another big reason why people want me to come to and speak at the events is because of the company that I work for. What I'm noticing is that a lot of these companies want me to talk about the hiring practices at the company that I work for, which, you know, is not exactly something that I'm comfortable sharing. Plus, because of the size of the company that I work for, it's also like a marketing and PR liability you know because you know in case you didn't notice people get fired and canceled left and right <laughs> these days so I definitely try to be careful and you know very picky about what kind of events that I go to and to you know what types of topics that people want me to speak about but again speaking engagements could be a great way for you to you know make extra money and also get the exposure and you know network with the right people all right, we are almost getting to the end, but the next one is my um, investment portfolio income. Again, many of us know this is one of the best passive income sources. So I've been actively investing ever since I graduated from college and got my very first uh, corporate job. But pretty much I use Robinhood as my main investing platform. I invest both into index funds and individual stocks. And I also have my 401k and my Roth IRA. And then finally, I have my Fundrise portfolio because I wanted to diversify my portfolio a little bit and start investing into real estate. If you're not familiar with Fundrise, I filmed an entire video about it. I will encode the link up here if you want to check it out but it's a great way to get your foot into real estate investing without having a ton of money okay number nine is brand deals as you can tell i have started landing brand deals recently which is really exciting um so i've landed brand deals on linkedin on instagram on youtube which has been really great i guess because i don't have like a huge following right now i'm not making like a ton of money with my brand deals but just the fact that brands are willing to collaborate with me and are willing to pay me to promote them has just been very exciting but yeah brand deals is one of like a great ways that a lot of influencers influencers make money. So last but not least is affiliate marketing. This one is very straightforward. I include a lot of affiliate links in my YouTube description, sometimes on my Instagram. I only do affiliate marketing with products, services, and platforms that I've tried before and really like. But you know, again, this is a very easy and straightforward way to make money. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite side hustle. And if you wanna see more videos about side hustles and passive income, I'm going to to include this playlist right here that you can check out. Hopefully you will enjoy those videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!